Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick review video. Today we're looking at um, 3ds Max 2016. So, uh, first of all, I just want to point out, literally just got this, so I am not up to speed with um, some of the um, newer functions um, that Autodesk has added to this, but um, we're going to have a look. It's just a bit of fun, you know, we're going to have a look at it. Um, anyway to see uh, some of the new features um, in 3ds Max 2016 so once we open um, obviously it looks very similar to 2015 um, there's not a lot of difference apart from um, different menu systems so if you look down the uh, left hand side here um, you've got um, sort of a lot more options and these options will separate um, all your bits and pieces here like your lighting um, you could just literally solo the cameras and stuff like that so um, that's a pretty nice little um, feature um, so um, been using this for about an hour I would say say about an hour two hours um, and it I won't lie to you it does it, it feels a hell of a lot quicker than uh, 3ds Max 2015 it really really does um, you know it's 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 faster at rendering um, even on the same computer um, I was able to install all my plugins from 2015 because um, it allows you to migrate um, all your bits and pieces um, from 2015 to 2016 so um, you know on Ray Fire and bits and pieces like that um, it was very easy to just install um, just to get running so um, as you can see, you know, um, it shades everything on the fly, um, which is very, very cool. Um, you know, it's very fast, it's very fluid. Um, this is just a demo scene that you literally get within uh, 3ds Max. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, all in all, really, really impressed. Now, um, like I say, I mean, I've, I've not had a lot of time to sort of play around with um, the various functions of this new version. Um, of 3ds Max um, so you know I will um, bring um, a video or do some videos and tutorials once I get to grips with um, the new features but I was quite excited today so I just wanted to sort of knock up a quick review video uh, to so you guys could literally see uh, what it looks like but yeah I mean it all um, you know operates um, like the original 3ds max so not a lot has changed um, apart from obviously it's a hell of a lot faster um, it's a hell of a lot smoother and obviously you've got um, a load more functions which I will figure out what they are um, and I will come back to you um, with them but you know looking up here um, you've got some new uh, renders so you can render and upload it to the Autodesk website um, you've got a gallery where you can you know upload it to the cloud um, if you click here, um, just open that. So you've got cloud-based rendering um, here, so you can render everything to the cloud. All you have to do is log in with your details and you're good to go. Um, and also um, the rendering, the way it's, you know, this this, this part here, uh, when you go to render, um, is all changed as well. Um, it looks different, but you can sort of change, um, you know, the sort of way you want to render. This all looks very, very similar um, to before, um, which is cool. So people coming from uh, 15 to 16, um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, but obviously, you know, I do apologise if I've, if I've not got a lot to say um, regarding this. All I, all I can say basically is um, it's very impressed with it so far, um, what I've seen. It does feel a hell of a lot smoother. Uh, let's just render out. Um, uh, just render out a quick scene, quickly. Uh, let's just render that out. Um, everything looks very, very similar to um, the uh, 2015 version. So don't be afraid to sort of jump over. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this this renders really, really quickly as well. Um, especially with the with this scene here, it's quite in depth. This scene. Um, it's got a lot of motion blur in it and stuff like that so yes um, very impressed very impressed with it so yes 
I know it's sort of been brief. Um, I'm going to do a review on uh, Maya. Um, so look forward to that. Maya's going to be a bit more in depth because Maya is just rock solid. It really is. I do like 3ds Max, um, but I'm more of a Maya person. Um, so look forward to the full review um, of um, Maya 2016, which I will do, um, and hopefully it'll be out tomorrow for you guys. Um, so you can have a just quick look at what it looks like um, and what to expect um, from it. So um, that's it really guys. Um, so far very impressed with what I can see. Um, it's very smooth, it's very quick, it's very fluid. Um, granted yeah, I've got a very powerful computer but I think Autodesk has um, set it up to, you know, even if you're working on sort of like a low end system um, you can gain benefit from, um, you know, using 3ds Max 2016, even if your computer really is not that not high spec, um, which is really really great because it, you know, it allows people that you know, sort of can't afford, you know, higher end systems to sort of, you know, give it a bash and 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 try some stuff and try and learn it really. So um, as always, guys, very brief, very quick. Um, look at. Um, 3ds max 2016 i hope this has been informative obviously you know it's not a tutorial or nothing it's just literally a first look guys um and just to let you know what i think of it so as always thanks for listening and see you in part two where we'll be looking at 3ds uh sorry maya uh 2016 um we've also got mudbot 2016 we're going to be looking at um and motion builder 2016 which is great so as always, guys, thanks for listening, and I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.